Welcome to this FaceWorks Studio tutorial about customizing your data with animation tuning. This tutorial assumes that you've got your footage into Studio and it's calibrated and tracked. If you still need to do that, take a look at our knowledge base and previous tutorials. When your footage is being tracked and the preview character is animating, you'll see the shape value sliders moving according to the tracking. The way that Studio streams data is in the form of shape values between 0 and 1, with the value of 0 being no activation on a given control and 1 being maximum. The animation tuning panel lists all of the shapes that Studio streams, and you can see the value of each shape on the current frame denoted by the bright orange bar. The longer dark orange bar shows the maximum value for that control that's been reached during your session. Animation tuning is controlling these values by way of using multipliers. You can see to the right of each control, its default value is 100% activation. If you want to change that to, for example, make the character's jaw open wider, as shown on this frame that we have paused, we can just use the jaw open slider and move it around. This is a multiplier that, as you can see, increases or decreases the percentage of activation for the entire shot. So now the jaw will be much more activated for the remainder of the shot. This works for any of the controls and is a quick way to make adjustments. The idea is to set up the relationship between your actor's performance and the animation results that you want, and save that into a profile for repeated use. It's a process of trial and error, and a little bit of effort and testing at the beginning can yield some really great results later on, especially alongside another great tool, Motion Effects, which we'll cover next time.